Uber Nerds of the World Unite! The hit competition series, King of the Nerds, is poised to crown another ultimate super nerd. It's incredible the number of people who are interested in and qualified enough to make a run at the title. Our next guests co-starred in Revenge of the Nerds. They're the brains and beauty behind the series. Curtis Armstrong and Robert Carradine. So season two of King of the Nerds, for someone who's never seen the show before, how would you describe it? Well, it's a nerdtastic competition huh. reality show and don't miss it <laughs> it's yeah it's a i mean it is a, a competition reality show but it has a heavy overlay of comedy um because in some ways it was inspired by revenge of the nerds the movie that robert and i did low these three decades ago um and it's a group of 11 nerds who live together for eight weeks and every week compete against uh, each other first in teams and then in individually for the right to be crowned king of the nerds the last nerd standing and is crowned king of the nerds they will win one hundred thousand dollars yes but more importantly they're crowned king of the nerds what have you improved upon now in season two well we have better challenges uh, they're nerdier and one of the chief complaints last year was how we wrapped up and uh, we have fixed that with a very nerdy final nerd off. Yeah, we were criticized last year for, for basically doing kind of a popularity contest between the two finalists. And the idea of nerds in a popularity contest is ridiculous on the face of it. So we went back this year and fixed that. Now it's different. So what do you guys think makes a proper nerd? Well, they have to be completely focused and passionate about whatever their various, uh, uh, I guess... Specialities are? Yeah, their speciality in the nerd universe. And I mean, they may, be, they may be a gamer, they may be a, 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 a science nerd, they may be a computer nerd, they may be all kinds of... They may have, you know, some sort, some sort of direct interest in the nerd culture. But whatever that is, they are laser focused on it. And it's that laser focus that we try to find out there in the nerd universe to bring to the show. And then once they're together in the house, they are competing in areas that may not be their prime area. So you have a physicist who's doing cosplay, not necessarily in his wheelhouse. So we, it, it's the way, the, the, the way they all wind up together in the house that makes it work so well. This is the 30th anniversary of Revenge of the Nerds. Did you ever imagine that you would be here 30 years later? Uh, had no clue, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, would have planned it a little better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really not at all. We really thought, God bless them, you know, it was a, it was a nice idea, but just the idea of a movie, Revenge of the Nerds, it didn't really sound like something that either of us really wanted to do and then when we got together it all was so far beyond our expectations it, it was definitely uh, one of the high points of absolutely. my career mine too do you have anything planned to mark the occasion well there is a <laughs> I don't know <laughs> <laughs> well, there, then, there, there are plans afoot but uh, no, nothing is concrete yet yeah King of the Nerds returns to TBS tonight at 9 o'clock. Curtis, Robert, thank you.